This video allows you to easily interface an ESP32 on an IoT dashboard using Tago IO. First thing you need to log in in Tago IO. Then you need to select your profile in case you have more than one. After that, you need to select devices and add a new device using Arduino HTTP profile. Assign a name to your device and press the Create My Device button. Once the device is created, a token for that device will be created as well. Copy the token as it will need to be inserted in the Arduino IDE source code. Open the Arduino IDE code and paste the token. You will also need to insert your Wi-Fi SSID name and password. Then you need to compile and download the Arduino code in the ESP32. The code and the schematics are available for free in the link posted in the description of this video. Once the code is compiled and downloaded, open the IDE monitor to check the logs. You will see the temperature and humidity values appearing. Once this is OK, go to the Tago IO device you created and select the Live Inspector. In a few seconds, you will see data coming in the Tago IO interface. If this is OK, you are almost finished. Now add a dashboard and give a name to it. In the dashboard add a widget and select the format. I like the meter format for the temperature but other are also nice as well. Give a name to the widget, select the device created and the variable that in this case will be temperature. You can also adjust the range of the meter. I've placed a maximum of 50 degrees. When pressing create you will notice that the temperature is fully synchronized with the values of the Arduino monitoring tool. If you want, you can now create a new widget with the humidity. In this case we chose a simple widget which displays only the value. As you did before, give a name to the widget, select the variable humidity and press create.
Check if the values are synchronized and the project is finished. Tago IO gives also the opportunity to see the dashboards from your mobile device. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.